Hi, how are you doing today? Welcome to our next section of Automation Framework Development with Selenium Java course. And today we're going to talk about introduction. And once again, this is a development of control section of our Automation Framework Development with Selenium Java. So before starting this course, there's a disclaimer. This section has some of the most advanced coding practice and writing each and every library will easily take 20 plus lectures which is not the scope of this course, hence in many areas of this section, we will do copy paste to complete our library. Again, it doesn't mean that we will do only copy pasting, rather we will run through each and every line and understand how things work. Well, in this section, are we going to develop an all new controls for Selenium? Well, not actually, but we will try to wrap around the controls of existing Selenium or web element controls. So what is the plan for developing the custom controls for Selenium then? We are going to develop custom controls for Selenium from our current this code. As you can see, we have something like a public web element of txt username, public web element of txt password, public web element of btn login to something more meaningful like this. You can see that we have our own custom controls here like public text box txt username, public button btn login. So this is more meaningful than the one which we have right now, but it doesn't mean that the existing code that we wrote so far in our course is going to be helpful. Of course it is going to be helpful. You can write method for them as well, but this is kind of more control over the controls of Selenium and you can implement your own methods for the controls. Let's say for the text box, we have only send keys method and get text method. But what if you want to add a send keys with clear text or send keys with some special operation. So similarly for a button, you have a button click, submit and get text, all those control methods. But what if you want to do a button dot double click or button dot hover or something which is very, very special for only those particular controls that you want to leverage through and also make everybody whoever is working in your team to understand how each and every control is differentiated from the existing web element controls. So we are going to develop something like that. And again, this is going to be a complete custom control by the help of the existing Selenium code. So how are we going to achieve it? Selenium Java code is the answer. As I already said, we are going to use the concepts and code of our existing Selenium and extend it to our wrapper code and try to perform the same kind of operation what the Selenium is actually doing behind the scenes. Meaning, we are not going to really write a completely new controls. Rather, we are going to make use of the existing web element or wrap element or locatables classes and interfaces to write our own controls. Right? So. The whole section is going to be developed in much step by step basis once again, hence let's start developing it and see this in action. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same project which we have been developing so long. So far in our course, we developed the base section and the config section and utilities. And we also developed the test section with features, pages, custom runners and steps and test Selenium test. So we of course don't require the Selenium test anymore because we have converted all the tests so we can even delete this particular folder and it doesn't really matter even if we have that in there. So I'm just going to save it and let's try to rebuild this project. So this is our folder structure so far, but as you can see, we left this controls.api folder unattended. So, so far we have not written any piece of code for that particular folder. So as the beginning of this, course, I already said that we will be discussing this as a separate section altogether. So, so this is the time for it. So what I'm going to do is we are going to develop a controls for our existing Selenium. So if you have already purchased the course advanced framework development with Selenium C sharp course, you might have noticed that we use something called as extension methods of C sharp and the extension methods are very, very helpful because you can hook new methods or custom methods of yours into the existing libraries of web element or i web element and then you can perform the operation as if you have written the code for the existing library itself but extension method concept is completely missing in java and that's why we have to do 
or deal with a lot of pains in here but still this is also really great learning because you will learn a lot more than compared to the extension methods of c sharp in java so what we are going to do let's open the visio you can see that i have created a project plan for what we are actually going to develop for this particular section as you can see we have a library layout something like this you have a interface control and then you have a control base and then there are some controls like text box checkbox or you can add like drop down or button or whatever control you name it so you can keep on adding those controls but here let's zoom this particular piece a little bit as you can see this particular box the rectangular box you are seeing right here is actually a package and within this package we are going to hold the interface control so this interface control as you can see here implements the web element wrap elements and locatable classes and interfaces so that you can make it as a real control and similarly you have something like control base and once again this control base is going to implement from this interface in here and then you are going to write your own method for this particular control base and this control base is going to be the base class for all the different controls that you can write as you can see here there is a text box control and similarly there is a text box base and once again this text box base is going to implement all the methods from the text box interface similarly check box base and this is going to implement all the methods from the interface checkbox right at first instance this is going to be kind of confusing but in reality this is how selenium is designed internally selenium has their own controls and it's otherwise called as a web element and each and every web element will again extend from locatable and wrap elements this we can quickly see in our project itself if you go to the pages and if you go to any one of the page let's say login page and there is a web element interface and this interface if i try to do control alt b you can choose one of the class which is nothing but the remote web element class and you can see this remote web element class is actually implementing the web element interface and similarly there are other interfaces like find by and you can see there is something called as wraps element and also the locatable so these are the different kinds of classes and interfaces it has implemented for this particular class remote web element and you can see they have implemented the interface methods as well like get id set id click submit send keys upload clear get attributes and all those things and we are actually going to write the same kind of operation for our own custom controls and we are going to extend this particular remote web element along with our own custom controls so we will discuss more about that in our next video